the method started about probably 30 years ago, maybe longer, where uh, we started a story of what was going on. Left took out the verbs, the nouns, and filled them in with with uh, donated words from whoever was there, and they got funnier and funnier. Words. And it became a tradition, and we've been doing them ever since. They don't make a lot of sense. And this one was written, except it was after that that time. She got smart, and I had to run in advance. This time, I did ask for the words in advance because I didn't want to spend the whole day running around looking for down for that. Yeah. So, but I did put them in random. I want you to understand that. And some of you did not respond oh well. You got left out. <laughs> but um, anyway, this is the Mad Lib, and Kevin, help us. Uh -huh. It's the Sarah Fest 2012, the Gathering of the Clan. Deep in the mountains of western North Carolina, a diverse group of people came together for a celebration. They came from Georgia, California, Oklahoma, Illinois, Tennessee, Ohio, South Carolina, Florida, Belgium, and Alabama. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Their ages spanned nine decades. Wow. Their names were as different as their physical appearances. <laughs> <laughs> Seraphim, Larson, Thomas, Block, Williams, Robinson, Birchfield, Jones, Laveau, Smelser. Some were tall, some were short, blondes, brunettes, and redheads. But what could they possibly have in common? <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> Aside from being unanimously highly intelligent and supremely good looking, <laughs> all, were, all were linked to and thus members of the Seraphim family by blood or by marriage, and there was no escaping the ties that bond. And now it begins. First of all, we honor the senior member of the clan today, our captivating, that was a donated word, Aunt Ella Savon Larson. Uh -oh. <laughs> Ella traveled by camel <laughs> all the way from California with her daughter, Julie. The journey required a great deal of preparation for Julie, as she had to find someone to care for her 3.14128 animals. <laughs> she had squids, <laughs> dung beetles, and a couple of moose, <laughs> which were fed an extraordinary diet of corn mash <laughs> and needed special attention. <laughs> Aunt Ella was glad to have Julie's help with the journey and devoted her time mainly to what she would wear. <laughs> She decided on a yellow plaid bathing suit <laughs> with a belt made of sand spurs <laughs> and a pomegranate, oh, <laughs> which she thought complimented her complexion. <laughs> they both were looking forward to getting a little bungee jumping in while they were <laughs> from Oklahoma on the Titanic. <laughs> Mary Frances and Larry Block. <laughs> Mary Frances is the daughter of Rose Seraphin, and she improved the family gene pool by marrying Larry Block. <laughs> now they both are retired pole dancers. <laughs> Years with their lips lower, <laughs> which they eat in Florida. <laughs> oh, this is good. They are also trapped. They also enjoy traveling, having recently gone all the way to the Kroger Employees Lounge. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Frances is best remembered for her childhood skill of dragging her defenseless seraphim cousins <laughs> off into the caves of dark waters <laughs> and for being able to turn herself inside out. <laughs> Mary Frances and Larry have two wrinkled grown children, <laughs> Nick and Leslie, and 67 grandchildren. <laughs> Okay, 
joining Julie and Ella is Ella's oldest son, Steve Larson, and his long-suffering wife, Patty. <laughs> While traveling with Steve and Patty by mule train are two of their children, Eric and Ellen. Their oldest daughter, Stephanie, is here with her new husband, Sean. Steve and his family live in Tennessee, where Steve serves as a mountain climber with a specialty in apprentice liposuction technicians. <laughs> You'd like to play like, claim to these words. <laughs> Patty keeps herself occupied with speed plumbing. <laughs> she also enjoys alligator wrestling. <laughs> Eric and Ellen are finishing their schooling and both make their parents proud with their studies in alligator wrestling and Italy rings. <laughs>
Edna now spends her time leisurely fly fishing and stone cutting. <laughs> 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 paintings of digestive tracts <laughs> are eagerly sought after by family members. <laughs> Charles takes care. <laughs> Charles takes care of their mountainside home and owns and operates his own mafia business. <laughs> oh, that's what you would have heard. Charles, Why do all that <laughs> Charles has to work an average of thirty minutes every week. <laughs> School Savannah and Brandon, in addition to keeping busy with a garden where she grows star anise and does volunteer work as a typesetter in Beer Bottle Crossing, Idaho. <laughs> Talk to Betsy. She also bakes. She also bakes her own fudge sickles. <laughs> Savannah, <laughs> Savannah has just begun a job at Bubba's Tanning and Video Room. <laughs> That's my money laundering business. <laughs> and she plans to attend college at Princeton University. <laughs> Brandon's favorite hobby is his Legos, and he wants to build a burrito with them. <laughs> he also is a great giant slayer. <laughs> Bri Brianna uh, is a senior at Montre, where she is studying carburetor repair. <laughs> <laughs> she works as a testimony <laughs> to earn money for gas for her Rolls Royce and to pay her incontinence bills. <laughs> in the Disney Channel, and she enjoys <laughs> electrifying people in this field. Go, <laughs> Carrie. Ken is presently working as a bellboy. <laughs> hey, that tastes good. And he admits you're with the mafia. <laughs> he admits this isn't his first choice. He'd much rather work for NASA. <laughs> He continues to enjoy his music and is a virtuoso on the castanets. <laughs> Christopher and Ken spend hours throwing gumbo limbo trees. <laughs> and the family enjoys snorkeling together in the parks whenever they can get away. <laughs> Ken and Karen have been on a diet and exercise regime for the past year, losing a combined total of 3.14159 pounds. <laughs> Pie. A lot of pie going on. What an insult. Shelly and Eddie Birchfield have come from South Carolina, where Ed has had a long career with Duke University, <laughs> where he serves as head of the complaints department. 